Hi, friends. One of my subscribers asked to elaborate how to heal esophagus. It's Veronica Wax, naturopathic physician, happily retired. We will talk today about food supplements, herbs, how long it will take to heal. Esophagus is lined by squamous epithelial cells. And if you eliminate the insult that done to esophagus, let's say it's due to acid reflux, it actually will heal by itself within um, you know, 7 to 14 days. But some people need help. So you are looking at two to three weeks to heal the esophagus. Can I combine some supplements? I will elaborate on that. When and how much to take? Let's go. So step number one, eliminate the cause. Usually it's, it's acid reflux. Address your acid reflux. Eliminate the acid reflux. Then esophagus could be easy healed. Also could be allergies. So look for that. Step number two, think about supplements and food. Food, no spicy onion or hot pepper. It will irritate your digestive tract and esophagus. Sharp foods such as cornflake and bread grams have to go. Hot is very bad for inflammation. Cold is better, but very cold also is no good. Cool uh, substances may help. All food should be cooked to soups and stews, and fruits have to be in uh, consistency like an apple sauce. Supplements divided into three big categories. One is anti-inflammatory demulsants and restorative for epithelium of esophagus. So step three, anti-inflammatory herbs and substances. Chamomile um, is number one. Broadleaf plantain. Here's the picture of broadleaf plantain that actually may grow in your backyard. If you don't use herbicides and pesticides, go and pick up three or four leaves wash them and chew them once per day. And as you chew them for three or four minutes, that green juice will be released. You swallow that with your saliva and that has anti-inflammatory properties. DGL stays for deglycerized licorice. Licorice has a different mode of anti-inflammatory um, effect. It's prolonged the life of your own corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are anti-inflammatory and that's the effect. Curcuma or turmeric and green tea. I will post link to this article in, below. Curcuma actually is very well studied on patients with rheumatoid arthritis, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, and anti other inflammatory conditions of digestive tract. And it's inhibit production of interleukins. And uh, that's what is anti-inflammatory effect. The same about green oil, a uh, green tea, fish oil totally different mode of action. It has two actually. One is it's EPA and DHA substances in fish oil, and they will be converted to uh, prostaglandin series, series one and three, and they have anti-inflammatory properties. Second uh, part is uh, cellular membrane is uh, built out of, um, out of different uh, oils, and fish oil should be part of that. And when people don't eat fish, so the cellular membrane becomes unstable, like jiggy-wiggy. And that's instability is creates inflammation in the body. So if you will take supplements of fish oil, you will stabilize the cell membrane. It will be nice and solid. And that's what you want. That's what decrease inflammation. So it's a long-term, totally different anti-inflammatory effect. <clears throat> Step number three, choose your demulsant. The mouth and the substances that have a slippery like substances. Comfrey and mullein are specific, more specific for pulmonary system, but also sometimes used for digestive tract. Here again, uh, licorice, marshmallow, and slippery elm tea. Here I post the link below into throat code. So they are slippery and you sip the tea through the day and make sure that it has a little bit slippery substance there. So in the link below, before you buy actually from me, if you buy, thank you very much. I appreciate your support, but uh, look for that because it has um, citrus, it has uh, lemon, okay? Um, flax, seed, and avocado have oil. Uh, so, the, that's nice and soothing. Plantain and banana, different mode of action. They both have substance that is latex-like. So the latex will protect the lining of esophagus and okra also excellent in soup and stews, very slimy. Step number four, restorative for epithelium uh, of esophagus. Two substances, L-glutamine and butyric acid. Uh, 
link below to L-glutamine. Do not even think to buy L-glutamine in form of pill. It has to be powder because you need to take six grams per day minimum. You take a spoon and a little bit in a warm water and drink it through the day. It has restorative effect on um, squamous epithelial cell. <clears throat> the second is butyric acid. It's a product of bacteria that lives in the small intestine. It's a short chain fatty acid. When uh, I talk to patients or clients, you never can decide immediately which one will work better. So start with one, start with L-glutamine as a restorative. Choose something uh, from demulcent. For example, you can choose throat coat and uh, licorice. Uh, eat your avocado per day. Eat a half of banana, banana per day. Okra in soups and stews. And choose something as an anti-inflammatory. Here is again your uh, DGL. Put uh, turmeric in your soups and stews. When you cook rice, put it there. Um, eat fish or take a fish supplement. So the, basically that's it. So you can mix and match different inflammatory substances and see what do you need. If you need long-term effect, if you know that, well, I don't need fish, I don't like fish, right? So then what you do, you choose fish in form of peel. Okay, guys, I want to say uh, one word. I see an interesting trend. People started to buy my uh, course and with this course, there is a free coaching session. It's an hour of and a half of my attention. When people buy, I see on PayPal, they they paid for that. And they, within 24 hours, I send email, hey, I'm Veronica Vax. I'm here to help you. You study and when you're done, uh, contact me through the Zoom or Skype. And my, my goal is here to make sure that you have a right plan. Right plan means that we will talk about history of your acid reflex and you will tell me how do you plan to, to treat it. And if uh, I may disagree with that, after talking to you, I will say, yes, I agree with this, this, uh, this is good, this is good, but this I will do differently, take this supplement or don't do this. So I will, I, I am there to help you by the end of that uh, hour and a half appointment, you will have exactly plan of action, how, what to do and how to do. People don't reply to my email. I wonder why. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.